Well, to the ProMag magazines. Uh, second time on the range with this extended ProMag magazine. And uh, actually, when I put it into uh, the gun, it uh, jammed and wouldn't function at all. Uh, so, second time on the range, I think it's now completely unfunctional. If you look at uh, right here, just how that um, round is held in the top, and then look at the standard magazine, see the problem? That the feed lips have deformed, perhaps because the quality of, of the metal, the feed lips have, have deformed and uh, won't hold it in place to chamber properly. So this extended magazine um, is just no good. It's a good thing I wasn't uh, depending on it with my life or I might not be here. But um, ProMag magazine for 1911, at least this extended one, uh, I'm going to say no good. Now, the eight round one right here um, also uh, had a problem. Uh, it refused to fire, had feeding problems, and uh, you can see right here this lip actually got dinged or, or bent out of shape in the gun. So it's not uh, feeding correctly. And in fact, when I try to put the magazine in the magwell, it doesn't quite want to go because this piece here that got bent out there on it. So, um, the just, I would say, no good at all, at least in a 1911. Maybe that's just too much force for how these uh, magazines are made. The metal's very thin, and you can really tell that by the feel of it here. Also, this follower is just kind of floppy and just sort of sits in here like this, um, doesn't really uh, work that well, doesn't go up and down straight. So for the eight round magazine, I got a replacement, a KCI eight round magazine. Here's this one. Now right away, I can tell it feels very different. It feels a little heavier, the metal feels sturdier and a bit thicker, just has a good overall feel altogether. Look at that follower there, and the follower doesn't flop around or, or tilt or anything. It just goes straight up and down. I also like um, the indicator here. We see uh, eight holes for the eight rounds, and um, it does fit nicely into the gun. There's a little bit of a pause, right, the magazine catch, and then goes in and feels pretty good. Haven't shot this yet, but I certainly can't imagine it being any worse than the Pro Mag, and the construction feels uh, a lot better. So in the end, for your 1911, whether it's uh, more of a standard size, like this 8 round, or an extended one, like this 15 round, I just can't recommend them. These are both going back. I'm looking forward to getting my money back on these, because I just don't want to use these in my gun. And in fact, I don't think I really can anymore with uh, how the feed lips have deformed. They're just not going to work at all never worked um, right in the first place. So whether it's um, the uh, TSUS 1911 or any other 1911, I'm going to say stay away from ProMag magazines. Uh, other guys on the range said basically stay away from anything ProMag. So I can tell you for this 1911, they are just no good.